Okay. Awesome. Yes, let's go ahead and get started. So yes, my name's Megan. I will be teaching yoga on Monday nights from 6 p.m. until 6.45. And I'll also be teaching sometime for this new homecoming, sometime in October, so keep your eyes open uh, for that whenever that gets announced. The most important thing for the yoga practice, have fun, be safe, know that it's a practice so things aren't gonna be perfect and feel perfect and that's all part of it. So be patient with yourself and have a good time. Why don't we get started in a comfortable seated position? Um, if you're sitting cross-legged and you have tight hips, this is where pillows can come in handy. You can always kind of put some pillows under the knees for support. Or if you have yoga blocks, those could work as well. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall, relax the muscles of the face, and allow yourself to kind of limit any distractions and allow yourself to get really comfortable. So the fingertips are nice and relaxed, your elbows are soft. Go ahead and soften your eyes as well. So you can either close your eyes down or find a point on the floor to gaze at. <clears throat> And the spine is lengthening up towards the ceiling and take a full breath in through your nose. And then slow, long exhale out through your mouth. Why don't we go ahead and do that four more times at your pace. So big inhale through your nose. Bigger exhale out through your mouth. And again, breath in. And maybe you hold for a couple seconds. And then slow exhale out through your mouth. And two more times. Nice deep breath in. Long exhale out. And again, full breath in. Feel everything lift. And a long exhale out. We'll stay here for another moment. Opportunity for a full body scan. So maybe starting at the top of your head, kind of working your way down and just noticing how you feel and how you're doing today. And as we slow the breath down at the same time, you're beginning to also slow your mind down. Often throughout the day, we can feel so busy and kind of in go, go, go mode. So allow this to be an opportunity for you to feel centered, grounded, and really relaxed. Let's take one more full deep breath in through your nose. And a cleansing exhale out through the mouth. And if your eyes are closed, go ahead and gently open them up. Okay. And a big inhale, reach your arms up high towards the ceiling. Maybe you look up, reach through the fingertips. And then exhale, hands back down to the ground. Leave your right hand on the ground. Inhale, reach uh, your left arm up nice and high. And as you exhale, gently reach over towards your right. So there's no real like destination as you reach. It's not, oh, get farther, get farther. It's kind of just allowing it to feel good, feel the, your side body sort of opening up. Your gaze can either come up at the ceiling, maybe straight ahead or down at the floor if that feels better for your neck. And if you're hanging out here, maybe you can drop down to your right elbow and forearm and feel a little bit of a deeper stretch. Ooh, yeah and come back up through center. Place your left hand on the ground. Inhale, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, reach over towards your left. And notice if you're really pulling, see if you can allow this to 
almost feel easy. So it's just a, like a nice cozy stretch. And you can drop the left elbow and forearm to the floor if you'd like. Another deep breath in. And exhale, float right up back through center. And again to the other side, leave your right hand down. Inhale, left arm reaching up. Exhale, reach over to the right. And another breath in. Exhale, start folding the upper body a bit over your right thigh. Keep the back of the neck long, maybe gaze at your right knee. And then push your way back up through center and we'll go over to the other side. Inhale, bring to your right arm up. And exhale, reach. A oh, breath in. Exhale, let the chest start to fold over the left thigh, gazing at the left knee. And right back up through center. Okay. Let's grab our right knee and foot. So we can do this with our hands. So a hand to the, your sole of your foot, so um, your right knee. And so this will kind of just be waking up the uh, hip. So another way to do this is you kind of wrap your leg and foot in your hands. You can, um, in your arms, interlace your hands and just kind of rock gently. And if rocking gently doesn't feel good, don't do it. And as we're here, maybe on an inhale, notice if uh, your chest can kind of lift up, maybe straighten through the spine a bit, breath in. And exhale out. Drop your right hand behind you just a bit and extend your left leg out. Take a breath in. Exhale, guide this right foot up and over the left thigh. And from here, we'll come into a spinal twist. So inhale, reach the left arm up to the ceiling. And exhale, left elbow kind of hooking onto your right knee. But we're not really forcing it. Still lengthening our spine up tall towards the ceiling. My right fingertips are supporting me too. Awesome, exhale right back towards center. Bring the right knee um, on the floor and we'll grab a hold of your left leg. Again, so whatever way works for you, you can use your hands to grab the sole of your foot and the knee. Maybe you start like this and then kind of squeeze it in a bit more and wrap it around the arms. <sighs> Of course, while we're doing this, we're breathing. And I just noticed for myself, notice if you're kind of tensing, tensing up in the shoulders a bit, so let them melt down the back. And a breath in. Exhale your breath out. Bring your left fingertips to the floor to support you. We'll extend your right leg out. And another inhale. And exhale, guide your left foot up and over the right thigh. Gently placing it on the floor. And then let's keep it going big. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And exhale, twist. Right elbow coming to that left knee. So in this pose, your shoulders are kind of almost wrapping around your spine. So the collarbone is nice and wide. The heart is open. Another breath in. Exhale back to center. Go ahead and cross the legs. And if you have a pillow nearby, go ahead and place that in front of you. And we're just going to start to fold. Um, start like walking your fingertips down out in front of you. And maybe if you have two pillows, that will feel better. Uh, that way you can kind of rest on the pillows. But if you don't have pillows, just uh, feel free to use your fingertips to hold you up. So I'm pressing a bit into my fingertips and kind of shifting my hips down towards the ground. Can you please help? 
stay for another breath. Awesome. Rise back up. Let's get into our tabletop position. <laughs> All right, so swinging around here, bringing our shoulders over our wrists. Our fingertips are nice and wide. Bind your spread all the way like this. And we're just gently moving around. And we wanna protect our neck. So if you can, continue gazing between your two hands. Again, staying soft through the hips, soft through the elbows. Slide the knees back ever so slightly and drop your hips. Maybe flip onto the tops of your feet if you can see them. So the tops of my feet now are on the ground. And gently gaze over your right shoulder. And back towards center over your left shoulder. And then press into the hands, come into your child's pose. So widen through the knees a bit, almost towards the edges of your mat. Great pose for a pillow, again, if you like one. Let your hips sink back towards your heels. The fingertips can start reaching forward and forward and your forehead should come into contact with something or your chin. So sometimes using a pillow or a yoga block can be helpful. And this can be a really lovely rest and pose. Maybe you gently close your eyes down. And take a couple deep breaths in and out. Softening through your shoulders, allowing them to melt down your back. Allowing your elbows to maybe rest softly on the mat. And let's press our way back up to your tabletop. <clears throat> From our tabletop position, tuck your back toes under. Bring your fingertips forward about three or four inches. We're going to come into downward facing dog. If downward facing dog is not in your practice, you are welcome to stay in tabletop position. Press into the fingertips, they are spread nice and wide. We're engaging through the arms, bend the knees, let your head relax and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. So sometimes down dog doesn't feel that great. It can kind of take some practice to get in a good feeling downward facing dog. So some modifications, feel free to drop one of your elbows to the ground. So it's kind of like a half downward facing dog. Your forearm is giving you more support. Or you can drop both forearms down um, for dolphin pose. And again, always the option to stay in tabletop position. Send your chest back towards your thighs, another inhale. And exhale, let it go. From tabletop or your downward facing dog, Step your right foot forward between your two hands. And go ahead and drop your back knee down as well. Going to leave um, your back toes tucked. We're going to rise up. Maybe both hands come to the top of your right knee. In this pose, I'm really pressing into uh, my right heel. My right toes are facing forward with my ankle right under the knee. Feel a little lift in your heart as well. So notice if your shoulders can wrap a bit more around your spine. Maybe you press your hands into the top of your knee and the heart opens. You can challenge yourself, bring your gaze up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, drop a hand on either side of your right foot. And see if you can melt into your hips a little bit more. So as you exhale, kind of let go there and sink down a bit deeper. Leave your, um, your left hand on the ground. We're going to take a twist. So inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. 
And as you exhale, lower it down. Right fingertips stay on the ground. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the ceiling. Breathe out and lowering. Go to each side one more time. And last twist here. Lovely. Exhale, lower down. Tuck these back toes under. And lift this back knee. So we're in a um, kind of like a high lunge. We're going to find our way up to a crescent lunge. And we do that by engaging our core, really pressing in through the feet. So if this doesn't feel okay, feel free to leave your back knee drop down. And the arms reach up. For three times, we'll inhale, press into the feet and lift. So we're working on straightening. Um, your front leg and lower down. Two more times, use the breath. And one more time, Woo. press and lift. Okay, exhale, lower down, hands back on either side of the right foot. Let's drop our back knee back down, shift into your runner stretch. So your hips shift to the back edge of the mat. Work on straightening through the front leg. For a less intense stretch, you can kind of stay lifted more in the upper body. For a deeper stretch, work on folding uh, your heart maybe down towards that right knee. And you'll feel a stretch in your right hamstring. Bend your right knee and bring the right foot to the floor. Tuck your back toes under. We're going to um, lift our hips up. Both feet now are down on the ground. My left toes are ang um, angled, that's the word I'm looking for, to the top left hand corner of my mat and just folding the torso over the right thigh. Still feeling a stretch through my right hamstring. If you're holding any tension in the head, let it go. So shake it out. <sighs> if this isn't feeling okay, you can bring some width to your feet here. So I like to say, pretend that your feet are on train tracks. That can um, sometimes help with balance and stability. And then at your pace, step this back foot forward. We'll come into a forward fold at the top of our mat. Feet are about hips width distance in our forward fold. Soft bend through your knees. Relax through your head and neck. Let's do something with our hands. Come on into ragdoll. Grab opposite elbows. And another breath. And big exhale out. Drop your hands down towards the mat. Step back to your tabletop or downward facing dog and we will take those stretches to the other side. Whatever pose you're in, let's stay for a breath. Nice. Step your left foot forward between the two hands. And drop your back knee. So this first pose, we stay pretty lifted in our hips. We do that by really grounding down, um, ground down through your right knee and left foot. Feeling okay, hands come to the top of your left knee. If that doesn't feel okay, you can always leave your fingertips to the ground. Ah, soften through your shoulders. Opportunity to press a bit into your top left knee. Let the heart open and left gaze creeps up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring your hands down towards the ground, one on either side of the foot. And so 
as you exhale, can you kind of melt and let go a bit in the hips and maybe kind of shaking them from side to side can help. Leave your right hand down on the ground. Take an inhale and reach the left arm up. Breathe out and let it go. To the other side. And let it go. And then do the last two at your pace with your breath. Stop it. Okay. Let's lift up to our high crescent lunge. So tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up. You can kind of have a soft bend through your um, that back knee again, like your feet are on train tracks, if that can help with um, some balance. Press into the feet and we lift. There's something at the in front of you that you can gaze at that isn't moving. See if you can dial your focus into that. And then as we inhale, press through the feet and lift. Exhale, sink back down two more times. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower down. One more time, breath in. Exhale, lower down. Let's go ahead and lower the hands back down. Drop that back knee. Shift back into your runner stretch. So work on straightening your front left leg. Flex uh, your left toes towards the face. So my hips are pulling towards the back edge of the mat. My heart is really kind of pulling forward, creates this great stretch through my left leg. I know what I forgot. Let's go ahead and um, bend your left knee, bring the left foot to the floor. Go to tuck these back toes under, step the right foot up and forward a bit and fold your torso over the left thigh. Shake out the head. See if you can really feel what's connected to the floor. So really feeling the soles of the feet and as you press into them or engaging through the legs. If you notice your right hip is kind of almost peeling open, if you press to the feet, engage the core, see if you can kind of roll your right hip almost even with the left. And your right toes are angled up at the top right hand corner of the mat. <sighs> Let the shoulders melt another deep breath in. And exhale, breath out. Step forward to your forward folds. Soften through your knees, fold in the upper body. Nice little shoulder stretch here. Be interlacing your fingers at the low back. Squeeze your palms together. The knuckles start to fall forward. <sighs> Gently lower your fingertips back down to the ground. Inhale, press into your feet, come into a halfway lift. Can you guys still see me? Yes. So for a halfway lift, our, um, your hands are to your shins. Your belly button is hugging in towards your spine. Shoulders are pulling away from the ears. And the back is flat. Take another inhale. Exhale and fold. So we are moving into half sun salutations. Inhale, lift halfway, press through the feet, stay soft through your knees, and let the heart lift and pull forward. And breathe out and fold. One more time, inhale, lift halfway. 
And big exhale, fold. Rise up to stand, press through the feet, soften through your knees. And rise up, roll your shoulders back. Inhale, sweep your arms up nice and high, maybe you lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale and fold. Rise to stand. Inhale, roll up. Press through your feet. Nice full body stretch. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling. And breathe out. Fold forward. Couple more times here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Roll your shoulders back. Sweep your arms up. Maybe the hips press forward a bit. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press through the feet. Rise up. Reach your arms up. Option to swan dive here as you fold forward. So for the swan dive, the arms reach out towards the side. It's now it's like my chest is leading the way and my fingertips are a little bit lifted above. And fold. Let's go ahead and inhale, rise up. Big inhale, sweep your arms up. Leave the palms together and bring them to the center of your heart. Press into the feet, relax your shoulders. And notice the muscles through your face, so sometimes there can be tension through the jaw, the space between the eyebrows. Allow that to soften. And let's transition into a tree pose. So moving into a quick balancing series. I'm just twisting this way so I can show you guys. Leave the left foot on the floor, your right knee. For our tree pose, um, bring the sole of the right foot somewhere along the left leg. So it could actually even stay on the ground when we are turning the right hip out. You can come to uh, below the knee. You can go ahead and grab a hold of that right foot and actually place it above the um, left knee. So whatever one works for you, they are all the tree pose and they're all great. So the left toes are facing directly forward. Press in with the sole of your right foot into that left thigh so there is energy happening there. And you can either leave your hands together in prayer position or if there's some other sort of variation you'd like to take. And moving through balancing series, it can be really helpful to have a visual gaze point to dial in on. It's called a drishti. So something that is not moving that you can really hone in and focus on for three, two, fullest expression. Nice. And exhale, let it go. Bring the, separate the feet a little bit and just shake from side to side. I one time had a yoga teacher tell me in this pose to pretend that your arms feel like empty coat sleeves. And that is, so let them kind of just flop from side to side. <sighs> All right. To your other side. Right toes are facing directly forward. Bend your left knee. And then build your tree pose. Really press down through the right heel in the mound of the big toe. So really like grounding and anchoring down. Again, our, our spine is nice and tall. So sort of like how we started at the beginning of the class in that seated pose. It's like the top of your head is reaching up towards the ceiling. Like there are strings attached to the top of your ears, lifting you up. Any arm variation you'd like to take here with your arms and hands. Melting through your shoulders, engaging and reaching, lifting through your fingertips. 
three, two, and one. Let it go. Separate the feet a bit and shake it out. <sighs> All right. Let's come into a dancer pose. Shift the weight onto the left foot again. Uh, left toes are facing directly forward. Shift the body weight onto that left foot and kick your right heel to your right glute. You can reach back with uh, your right hand. Reach back for the right ankle. So you should have a, a like a thumbs up sometimes. Well, I guess it's whatever feels best on your shoulder. So I like grabbing my inner ankle. Some people may feel better grabbing their outer ankle. Uh, flex your right foot and start kicking your right heel up towards the ceiling. And go as slowly as you like here. So this is definitely a, a stretch on that right shoulder and an opening. Whatever feels good with the left hand. So mine's just resting on my heart, but you're welcome to reach the, uh, your left hand forward. And we've got lots engaged here. So we're using our core, legs, glutes, flex your right toes. Another breath. And slowly bend that left knee lower your right foot down. Ooh, okay. Let's windmill our arms out. So kind of just bring one arm back and then the other one. And a couple more times. Okay. Plant your right foot on the ground. Shift the body weight into that right foot. Soft bend through your right knee. Um, kick your left heel to the left glute and reach a hold the left hand. Before we go anywhere, we want to be hugging our knees in towards one another. When you feel good here, this could be your dancer pose. And since you're uh, in your home, feel free to do these balancing poses near a wall. And start kicking the left heel um, up towards the ceiling. Reach your right arm hand forward or wherever it feels good. Find that focus point and breathe. And great thing about yoga and life, you can always begin again. So if this is feeling challenging or you happen to fall out of it, find your way right back in. And another breath. Okay, exhale, let it go. How about we shake out? Whew. And then if you'd like to with the shoulders as well. Ah, oh, okay. Find your way back to the top edge of your mat. And um, big inhale, sweep your arms up. Big exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Place your hands on the ground and step your feet back to a high plank. Okay, so a modification here for a high plank is dropping the knees. For high plank, we want to be like pressing the earth away from us and we are not um, like dropping in the hips and shoulders. We are really engaged, so we're using our core. We're engaged to the arms, back of the neck is nice and long, backs of the legs lifting up towards the ceiling. And we will just hold here for three, two, and one, drop your knees and sink your hips. Send your elbows a little bit here. So the front of the body opening up. <sighs> Let's shift back to child's pose. Bring your knees toward the edges of your mat. Working your um, big toes together to touch. Ooh, that feels nice on the back. <sighs> Anything restful to do with your arms, so they could be reaching in front of you, they could be back by your side. It could actually be um, 
and the forehead could be resting on them. So anything that feels good. <sighs> awesome. Finding your way out of your child's pose and kind of just crawl your way forward and lower down to your tummy. Going to come into a yoga pose called locust pose. So turn the uh, tops of your feet down towards the ground. Um, arms are going to be reaching back behind you, so they're um, by your sides, and your palms face down. So in locust pose, we are working towards lifting our heart, hands, and feet up off the ground. So we want to protect the neck. Um, so gaze just right at the front edge of your mat. And let's take this uh, step by step. So go ahead and just gently lower down. And then turn your um, chin or forehead towards the mat and on an inhale, lift just the chest up. So my fingertips are still down on the ground. Back of the neck is nice and long. Press into the tops of your feet a bit and notice if you're really using your glutes here. Don't, we want to try to not be using them so much. So I'm gonna be using muscles of the upper back. Exhale, gently lower down. So we'll build on this. So maybe you rest uh, your right cheek on the mat. And then let's set up and do that again. So turn your uh, chin or forehead to the mat. Inhale, lift the chest up. And know where your limit is. So if anything's feeling super uncomfortable or painful, allow yourself to ease off. If it feels okay, gently lift your fingertips up. You really spread your fingertips here and kind of, um, so here now we're wrapping the shoulders around our spine. So we're squeezing um, our shoulder blades towards one another. Exhale, lower down. Maybe you rest your left cheek. Maybe you shake your hips out a little bit too while we're down here. Okay, last time. Turn your chin or forehead to the ground. If you have low back um, problems, feel free to leave your feet down on the ground. But if you would like to try and see how it feels, next inhale. Peel up off the mat, chest, arms and hands. Squeeze the inner thighs towards one another. So it's like zippering up, squeeze to the midline. Active through the toes, active through the fingertips. Three, two, another lift. Exhale, release, let it go. Bring your arms out to a T. Bend uh, your knees, let them fall to your right and your left. Hopefully this feels nice on the low back. <sighs> All right. Go ahead and lower the legs down. Let's press ourselves up to tabletop. Um, and let's try, let's actually find our way down onto our backs. I was going to try to get there somehow, but it wasn't working. <laughs> okay. Oh, what should we take? Waterfall. So lay down and lift your feet right up towards the ceiling. Yes, so this is called waterfall pose, or legs up the wall. You can always actually bring your body up towards the wall and use the wall for support. <sighs> mm. 
and bend your knees. Feet are down to the floor. We'll bring the soles of your feet together and then let your knees fall out wide. So if this doesn't feel good on your hips, placing pillows under your knees can feel really supportive here. <sighs> Tuning back into that breath from the beginning of class from our seated position. Filling up on deep breaths in through your nose. And as you exhale, it's like you're purposely going very slow on the exhale. I like to think of it as fogging up a mirror. And from here, bring your feet to the edges of the mat and let the, your, your knees fall in towards one another. We'll work our way to a pigeon pose. So I'd like to show some options for this because there are many. So we can start with where you are right now. Um, staying, laying down on your back. You can take the uh, right ankle, bend your right knee, bring your right ankle to the top of your left thigh and squeeze the left thigh in for a deeper stretch through your right glute. So that is one option. Another option, you can take this sitting up if that feels better. Um, pretty much the same setup, except you've got your, your hands down on the ground for support. And if you're taking this and you would want a deeper stretch, walk your left heel towards uh, your glute more, kind of press into the hands a bit more. Another way to do this would be um, bringing your, um, bending the, your right knee and you're letting your left leg stay long behind you. And so my right knee is on that outside of, um, it's out further than my hip, if that makes sense to get that stretch through the right glute. So you lift it up here or start folding in the upper body. So take your pick. And if you're feeling satisfied on that side, go ahead and switch. Again, notice where you could soften a bit. Another full deep breath in. And a big exhale out. We will lower all the way down to a nice full body stretch. So reach your arms up overhead. Spread your fingers, spread your toes. Big inhale. And big exhale. Ooh. Squeeze uh, your knees into your chest, wrap your hands around the shins. 
Press your low back into the mat. We'll close with a spinal twist. So keep hugging your right knee into your right shoulder and extend your left leg. Let it be down on the ground. Going to guide your right knee up and over the left. Also another great spot for a pillow. You can place a pillow here for your right knee to rest on. You wanna work on your shoulders staying grounded down um, on the mat. And your gaze can either stay at the ceiling, feels okay on your neck. You can twist and turn and look at your left, uh, your right fingertips. And then finding your way back towards center. Let's reset here. So hug your uh, knees into the chest. The arms wrap around the shins and leave the, uh, hug your left knee into your left shoulder, extend your right leg, let it lay on the ground. And then as you exhale, come into that spinal twist and we want to be sure we're actually kind of shifting our hips and we're rolling onto the, um, what we call like the outer, lateral edge of the right leg. So um, almost like that IT band. Um, that's how we want to do this twist, if that feels okay. Okay, another full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Come back towards center and keep with this like nice. It just felt like a slinky. So just like moving so softly. We'll come into our final resting pose. Maybe the ankles fall wide to the corners of the mat. Maybe you use your pillow as a prop somehow. We'll just stay here for about a minute or two. So this is like the ultimate soften. You're welcome to close your eyes. Maybe you listen closely to your heartbeat, the sound of your breath. And for anyone practicing, you're always welcome to continue this resting pose for much, much longer. And through your nose, take a full deep breath in. And then that slow exhale out through your mouth. And gently find your way up to seated position. And again, just like how we started, so sitting up nice and tall, maybe the legs are crossed. Um, hug your shoulders up towards your ears. Inhale. Exhale, roll them down your back. Let your shoulders relax. Bring your hands to heart center, palms pressing in, and maybe your thumbs kind of rest against your sternum. And again, roll those shoulders back, feel the heart open up, and tuck the chin just a bit. 
another opportunity to fully soften. And as you're here, say something to yourself that you're grateful for and something that you are proud of. And we'll take another full deep breath in. Long exhale out. Gently release the hands down. Namaste. Thank you for joining. I see some familiar names on there. I like it. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed and are feeling great. Type any questions. Ask any questions. I will be here every Monday unless stated otherwise. So thank you so much for joining and hopefully I will see you guys next Monday.